Hello and welcome to this week's music and meditation. Our meditation this week is read by Tim and is again written by Eddie Askew, taken from his book Disguises of Love. The reflection is based on Psalm 40. We start with a song by St Paul's Music Group. The song is taken from the words of the prayer of St Patrick, Christ be beside me. Christ be beside me, Christ be I'm sure God can well care for himself, but there are times when I get a bit anxious on his behalf. I worry at the way folk lay the responsibility on him for the evil of the world. The other day, a friend spoke of someone suffering a tragic, serious illness, and then quoted from a psalm, Great things thou hast done, O Lord my God, thy wonderful purposes are all for our good. That's from Psalm 40, verse 5. The implication was that somehow everything that happens is from God, and that everything that happens, therefore, is for our good. That worries me because, although it's a common attitude among Christians, it is fatalistic, and it doesn't fit in with my understanding or experience. Now, let's be careful. First, an affirmation. God's purposes are wonderful, and they are all for our good. But is everything that happens in the world part of God's purposes? The psalmist doesn't say that. In fact, in verse 14, he recognises the presence in the world of people who hurt and destroy, and warns us against them. Second, humbly, I realise that I'm in no position of wisdom to say dogmatically what is or isn't God's will. But I believe we should be similarly careful about attributing particular tragedies to his will. Can anyone agonising with someone seriously ill, maybe a leprosy patient who has lost health, home and family, tell him it's God's will? I'm sure that it's his will that we do everything we can to help put things right. But that's not the same. Someone's going to remember Romans 8.28 in a moment and remind me that all things work together to, for good to them that love God. Or as the NEB puts it, in everything he cooperates for good with those who love God. That's different though and strengthens the point I'm trying to make. It doesn't say that everything that happens in life is good or from God. What it implies is that whatever, whatever happens, God can work with us towards good, reaching out to create something positive. As Christians, we must face the reality of the world, its imperfections, its sin and suffering. We can't delude ourselves over the activity of evil or pretend that it's all God's will. We don't know why some people suffer much more than others. We don't understand why some break under it although we see it happen. But we do know that God is with us, even though sometimes we know it only in retrospect. 
At the time, when things were tough, prayer seemed unanswered or answered the wrong way. Looking back, we see that through the suffering, love was at work in one of his many disguises. Love is often hard to recognise, coming to us gently, so close to the suffering that he's hard to identify. So hard that we attribute to him the suffering itself, instead of thanking him for his presence and strength. We can find him in the suffering, through the suffering, Love's disguises slowly dissolving as we recognise his presence, not necessarily justifying the suffering, but turning it towards good. I spend a lot of time talking to you about myself. I have so many needs. 
help me today to think of others. I pray for people weighed down by worry, anxious people who don't know where to turn, who don't know whose door to knock on, bewildered by what life has brought, knocked off balance by the suffering and inequality they meet at every step, people without choices whose only way is down. Somehow, Lord, in the turmoil of survival, in the questioning and the doubt, show yourself to them. Let them find you, not in the abstract, not in the words of a practised preacher, but in a hand held out to help, in shared tears and in the silence that says everything without words. May they recognise your purposes for them and learn that your will for them is good. Help us, each one of us, to face things as they are, and though the world has forgotten the architect's plans, Though the builders ignore the blueprint and the foundations shake with every pressure, shelter us with your presence. Help us to see you at work not only in the good days but in the bad, and to know beyond doubt, not through others' words but through our own experience, that you work together with us for good. Then, Lord, our praise will be real, our joy deep.